Today I'm going to talk to you about unique conversions. Now this is a favourite in the 11 plus exam, so I thought it was really worth talking about this today. So what we're really talking about is multiplying or dividing by 10, 100 or 1000. So children, before they even get to this, have to know how to um, move a decimal number um, by multiplying by 10, 100 or 1000 or dividing. So if we were going to go th from grams to kilograms, I always get the kids to look at a diagram like this. We're going from a small unit to a large unit like kilograms. If we were going to convert something, we would end up with less of these because they're bigger. So we would divide. And we would divide by a thousand because there's a thousand grams in a kilogram. If, however, we were going to go from a big unit like a kilogram down to a small unit like a, gr um, like a gram, we would multiply by a thousand because we would end up with more of these at the end. Now this is a common thing that kids get mixed. Do they multiply or do they divide? So I get them to draw this diagram out so they can get it into their heads. Um, so if we move on. If we were gonna um, convert 10.5 kilograms to grams, what we would actually do, that should say multiply, shouldn't it? We would multiply by a thousand because we'd have more of them. Now when we multiply by a thousand, we've got three zeros in a thousand. So we would get the decimal point, And because we're multiplying, we would go the way we read and write. We would do three jumps of the decimal. So one, two, three. If we run out of numbers, we can just add zeros, okay? So we'd end up with one, five zero zero grams ten thousand five hundred grams if we were going to go now i've seen this in um, a cssc 11 plus where kids are used to going from say millimeters to centimeters or centimeters to to meters but they actually jump forward a step so i've seen it where they've gone from 10 meters right down to say millimeters they've jumped across so what kids need to remember is first of all their times in by 100, then they're timesing that number by 10 again because you're then converting to milli millimeters. So what you would actually have is 10 and then two zeros and another zero. So you'd add all these zeros together. So that is in fact how many millimeters you'd end up with. So all this stuff is quite easy as long as the, the child understands the steps and what to do. Here we come to this one, which I definitely have seen in 11 plus exams. One designed to catch kids out. Sorry about that. Um, where we might go from 10 meters squared and convert it to centimeters squared. Now, what most people do is they would end up doing 10 times 10 because they see the square, and so it's 100. But that's not right, because it's to the power of two, um, so it's squared to the power of two. So what you do is you do times 100, and because it's squared, times 100 again, because you're, going, you're multiplying in two dimensions. So you'd end up with 10, two zeros, two zeros centimeters squared. So it's actually 100,000 centimeters squared, 10 meters squared that not many kids get that right okay so I think that's a really good one to know about now equally if we had 10 meters cubed and we wanted it in centimeters cubed we would do the same thing we'd look at to the power of there to the power of three or cubed so if it was 10 we'd have 10 and it, because it's centimeters 100 three zeros sorry two zeros what we're talking about 100 again, two zeros, 100 again, two zeros. Big, big number. Big, big number. It seems improbable, doesn't it? But this is actually what you do. And because this kind of seat doesn't seem natural to children, this is one they normally throw into an exam to see if they understand what they have to do here when they do a uni conversion, but it's to the power of something. 
I just thought I'd leave you on that one. Um, this stuff is in Peter Robson, um, which is a, a common book that we used to start kids off with. I hope you've enjoyed this today. Um, it's, it's certainly not the, the last one I'm going to do in this series on this topic, um, but hopefully it's given you food for thought. Look forward to seeing you next time, and goodbye. Thank you.